Hello everyone, I am Sergio, editor and founder of Helisimmer.com. It is Sunday and that means it's time for another weekly flyby. Does it have helipads? You probably saw that a few times on our website, our social media, or even our t-shirt. That is a question a lot of us make when checking out new scenery. In this case, yes. In fact, helipads are the goal in the ZBW New England Boston Area Helipad scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator. User Razor Files at FlightSim.to released a scenery with 46 helipads around the state of Massachusetts. Keep in mind that the goal is not to show very high fidelity helipads. Razorfly says we don't find fencing, walkways, safety netting or panels or other thrills in the scenery that was done on purpose to keep the poly count low as well as the amount of work necessary to make every single helipad. The scenery was developed and tested with photogrammetry on and Razorflies warns you that if you fight with it off, you will probably find some pads floating above buildings which he is not planning to fix. Nonetheless, if the opposite happens and a helipad is covered by a building, he may attempt to fix that. On top of the scenery itself, there's also a KMZ and a CSV file which can be used to import other waypoints for little navmap for example. Check out our article to find where to download it. Version 2.0 of Carl L's freeware OH51D Kiowa 4 x plane is out. Yes, we all know X-Plane is not the ecosystem for combat and military aircraft that depict weapons being fired is often frowned upon. Still, options are always great to have. And just because they exist, it doesn't mean you are forced to use them. I'm not a fan of virtual weapons operation in X-Plane myself, but I am glad they exist so that others may enjoy it even if I don't. But I have to admit it, being very partial to the Kiowa I may have tried it once or twice or a few other times. It was fun. Nothing I will spend a lot of time doing really, but it was really fun. I'll probably spend more time in the Kiowa flying around though, not firing the weapons, which is what I do in DCS anyway. Anyhow, enough of talking about what I do or I don't do and let's go back to what it matters. The new version is packed with improvements and features and yes, you can deploy weapons as well, like I said. Carl, the author of this model has been hard at work and as you can see, from the list that we have on our website. A lot of hours went into this update. Oh, and make sure you do check the manual as well. There are some cool and important informations there, like a way to get the Kiowa to be a bit timber in case you need that. Check out our website for more information. Another thing you could do would be to hit that like button if you're enjoying the content of this video. Now, seriously, that would help us a lot with YouTube. Giving it a like, comment below, interacting with this video will tell YouTube that you find it interesting and what YouTube will do, will show it to other like minded people like yourself so more simmers will get access to our information as well thank you very much for doing it let's go back to the news now have you been eyeing the mi 24 p hind for dcs well you will soon be able to get it at 30 percent off eagle dynamics is calling it the simfest sale and it will start on march 28 2022 and ends at april 4 2022 at 1500 hours gmt that's 3 p.m gmt according to the company there were also some parallel discounts which should put some of the products at up to 50% off the regular price. You can find a list of modules and campaign that will be at 30% off at our website and in that list you will find the MI24P. A few weeks ago, Verpal released a new product which is clearly aimed at the helicopter pilots. Even the design is a bit hot, I would say. Intrigued? Well, so was I. Fortunately, I got my hands on a unit to tell you all about it. The Verpal VPC a -Store pedals are another excellent Verpal product despite the unconventional design and it has a lot and I mean a lot of customization options that will surely help you adjust it to your own needs. Check the link in the description to read the full review. I promise it's worth it and you may start considering these pedals if you haven't so already. Of course, it is not a perfect product and it could use some toe brakes, but still, it is a great product by Verpal. Check out the link in the video description. I would like to remind you that you can support helisimmer.com through patreon.com forward slash helisimmer or here on YouTube by becoming a member. Click the join button below to learn more. Thank you very much for your support and for watching this video. I will be seeing you all on the next one. Until then, take care and fly safe.